Um, he, he was excited, and it's a little bit different dimension, uh, trying to mix some things up and maybe present some problems for the offense. So um, it, it turned out pretty good. Speaking of that opportunity situation, you, you had some guys that didn't get a lot of reps, got a lot of reps last week. So you know, maybe who stood out to you, and how do you think as a group they performed? Well, uh, probably the one guy that played more, well now too. I guess Eric Taylor played a few more snaps and and uh, and Ty Cooper. Uh, those guys, they, they, I thought for the situation, um, the lack of time, practice time that they've had, that they've kind of stepped up. Um, I was pleased. I think they, they give us something to build on going this last stretch, um, and hopefully they'll continue to work and get better and and uh, stay healthy. Obviously, as a coach, you know you you want to have your full full you know utility chest available, but I mean, do you, do you take this as somewhat of a, of a challenge to, to you know, show show what you can do as a coach with, with not, I guess, your all your weapons and stuff, if that makes sense? I, yeah, it makes sense. I don't know if I'm going to bite that one. I, I mean, it's, hey, it is what it is, you know. I, I, you know, what kind of coach am I? Well, that, that's determined every Saturday, and right now it's not real good. So I got to coach better. Those guys got to play better. We got to communicate better. We got to um, do all the little things better and, and, and get this thing turned around. What kind of opportunity does this stress provide for some of these guys to get healthy with a non-conference game and then the bye week? Uh, what do they need to sort of work on before you get back on the road and back into conference play? Well, uh, you know, first and foremost is, is just getting healthy, getting in the training room, taking care of the bodies. And, and uh, you know, Western Michigan is not going to come out, come down here and play cooperative. I'm sure they, they're looking at them and thinking they got a chance. All they hear about is SEC, and they think they got a chance to come down here and, and beat us, and they do. It's, it's hard to win football games. So we got to go out and worry about us. We got to execute at a high level. We got to play hard. We got to play physical up front. And we got we got on defense. We got to create some more turnovers for our offense. And if we do those things, we'll be okay. What do you see from Western Michigan's offense? What do they like to do? Well, uh, they got a quarterback, this, this, a good, solid quarterback. They got some skilled guys. They got three tight ends that they play that, that are physical in the run game. They RPO and get the ball down the field some. So, you know, it's a challenge. Um, they're well coached. I mean, you sit there and look at them on offense and up front. They're a well coached group. They know what they're doing. Uh, they know what they want to do. So, um, obviously, like I said, it, it's a challenge for them. When, when you have all those injuries, how much is recovery and, you know, the in week? process, I guess, more emphasize with the, with the healthy guys, you know, to, to show them, I guess, maybe you know, the importance of that well, and staying on the field. Like I tell the guys, you only get one body, so you got to take care of it. So, you know, everybody has aspirations of playing at the next level, and part of it is taking care of your body and doing the things you got to do to recover. And, you know, you got to make sure you're getting the right amount of sleep at night. You got to eat the right things, and you, and you got to get your rest. So, um, hopefully those guys are doing that and understand the importance of it. They, all they got to do is look around the room and see guys are not not in there, so uh, hopefully they understand the importance of taking care of the body. Thank you.